Ellen, Joe Biden's door to the future as president. Take a close look at the window on the right. What Mr. Biden saw as he walked out to the inauguration balcony shattered as if time stood still January 6th, just two weeks ago, when domestic terrorists attacked America's cornerstone of democracy. Usually jammed for a swearing in, today the National Mall is largely vacant, a combo of COVID and the security crackdown following this month's capital assault by pro-Trump mobs. Inaugural sniper teams in place with the direct threat of repeat violence making these positions even more critical. Federal law enforcement backed by U.S. local police, including this contingent from Chicago and 25,000 National Guard troops securing multiple perimeters as bomb teams go on high alert for improvised explosive devices. With several U.S. presidents here all in one place, Washington is transformed into an unprecedented garrison. And D.C. isn't alone. Here in Springfield, the Illinois State Capitol protected by National Guard teams all day after FBI warnings that armed protesters could descend on all 50 states. In Boston, the State House cordoned off with extra officers. Vermont's capital under heavy guard, even during heavy snow. Lansing, Michigan, plagued by armed intruders last year, now encircled by commando teams. Salt Lake City, soldiers with body armor and heavy weapons at the Utah State House. In Olympia, Washington, the National Guard marching into position and on and on across the nation. The tension not ending tonight. No threats to Chicago, um, but it's just something that we're, we are uh, cognizant of and we're keeping a close eye on it. And uh, we have escalation plans uh, ready if need be. I was still in that position of, of worrying what we don't know and, and just can't emphasize enough, Chuck, how important it is to push the messaging of see something, say something, share information with the police. If, if something doesn't look right, it may not be right. Although FBI officials initially warned that the threat window would close after today, now law enforcement sources say messages on encrypted platforms suggest extremists are purposely staying away from heavily guarded government buildings this week. The concern is a new attack plot is being hatched for down the road, possibly March 4th, which was the nation's inauguration date for more than a century. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.